In this video, we're going to get familiar with the PDM tool update references. This can be found in your tools drop down menu down at the bottom here, update references. This is a great tool when you need to repair any broken references in a top level assembly, or in my case, as I use it most often, if you want to update references when importing files into your PDM vault to eliminate duplicates. I have a folder set up here for today, this new project folder for update references. I'm going to take that directory and I'm going to import a data set from outside of the vault. Quick pack and go here. Bring all of this data in. Navigating back over to PDM. There we can see all of the files sitting in my local cache, click refresh and a notification from PDM that all the files have been successfully added to the vault. When I go to check in my top level assembly, we'll see that all of the file names here are not unique. They're duplicates. And as I mentioned, this is something I do fairly often when I'm importing legacy data. A lot of these components have already been brought into the vault and pushed through workflows. So I just want to bring in my new top level assembly and associated drawing, and then we'll get everything cleaned up using the update references. All right, so we've added those two files to the vault. We've checked them in. With that top level assembly selected, I'm going to go to tools, update references. This window will launch my update reference window, and I have a few items of functionality within this, this commander tool. We have replace file, find files, add files to vault, and show properties. Show properties, just as it sounds, gives us a good look at any of the file in question properties, general properties, file data card, etc. All the way over to the left hand side, replace file. This can be handy when you know that you have a component that you've updated the file name for, but uh, the file still exists. So I do have one component in here that I intended to replace before the import, but I forgot to do so. No problem because I can simply replace this file. So I'll look at that original directory outside of the vault. There's my new file. We have successfully replaced that file. That leads to the next problem though, is that, like I just said, that file resides outside of the vault. So another great tool in update references, add files to vault. We'll go ahead and select that file, add file to vault, specify where we want it to reside. Make sure only add selected files is checked and we will add this file into the vault. Perfect. Now what remains is to update the references for all of the other files. So to do that, we're going to use find files. Under our find files window here, we need to prompt the system where to look. So by default, only search for files listed with warnings is selected. Uh, if I specify a directory and hit next, in my case, I don't have any warnings on my files, so I won't get any results. That's okay. We can come in, do the process again, make sure that only search for files listed with warnings is deselected, make sure that search subfolders is selected. I like to use that, keep that option toggled on. Uh, what that allows me to do is, instead of having to specify each of these folders individually, I can just click this upper level folder and we're going to search for everything contained within. We'll hit next. And here we can see a result of the components that have been found. So it looks like everything with the exception of that file we replaced at the beginning has found a match in the vault here currently referenced in the update reference directory that we've imported it to. And then here's where they are found within the vault. So numerous different directories. We'll hit finish to update those references. 17 files were successfully updated. Perfect. Quick check of my warning list. Everything looks okay. I'm going to finish off with hitting the update button here. References successfully updated. All right, so back over to the system, my PDM vault, quick refresh. Let's go ahead and check in this top level assembly.
there we can see that new file that we added to the vault replaced and added to the vault and then everything that still has a non-unique name right that's because it's still looking at the local cache version so before we check this in let's go ahead and remove all of those components in my case being careful not to select everything because I do have an item here that I want to keep delete and now when we check this in, we're going to see the updated references. All right. So there's all of the updated references. Check it in. And if we take a look at the contains tab, there we can confirm that all of our directories, with the exception of the top level assembly and the component we replaced, are indeed looking at components that were already existing in the vault. Stay.